back. We are talking to our guest, Mr. Abu Jafar, an artist he calls himself, but he's also an sculptor. He is a visualizer, he is a philosopher, and transfers his philosophy through the medium of uh, acrylic paint <laughs> on canvas. Yes, Abu Jafar. I was talking about uh, this, uh, your membership of uh, associate member of the Royal British Society for Sculptors, and you are a fellow of the Dixwell Art Trust, and you are a member of a sculptor network. Uh, and somebody said that your installations, which is supposed to mean the big work yeah, that's out in the open, cannot be in, oh, indoors. Are yeah, placed they can be in indoors too. Yeah. In big halls. Yeah, if you have a In space. our public places, public spaces, in and around, amongst our everyday life. Abu Jafar is a very energetic and gifted artist who has worked in a wide range of media, including installation, performance, as well as a sculpture and painting. And this was somebody from the Arts Council. Arts Council, um, uh, uh, Isabel Johnston. Uh, when you become a member of uh, these uh, very select groups, see, there is a responsibility on your shoulder, isn't it? See? I mean, they usually uh, give you membership when uh, you have certain quality of work. So it's, it's a recognition in a way that what you do. Um, I mean, like when I got an invitation from Arts Club to become a member. Mm -hmm. um, it's very elite. Um, then uh, I, I felt myself like a Kudiram <laughs> it, It's like a Kudiram. At this point, we will go and see if we can uh, share it with our viewers. Uh, can we see some of his uh, sculptures and other work?
are very interesting uh, some of these paintings and your sculpture. Uh, I read somewhere that your inspiration comes from philosophy, psychology, classical music as well as day to day human existence. How do you combine all of them? Um, because our life, um, I mean how we want to lead that is important and I am, I was always interested to find the way that my story, if my story can, I mean art m medium is a medium that has a strength um, to express what we are. Uh, and my, in my work, I always try to um, bring all the elements together, like listening classic music. For me, classic music is a good example. It's like a poem. Mm -hmm. um, poem has a short version, but it can it can prolong. Uh, it can make it as long as you want. Yeah. And a story can continue. Well, you also say that your art is far from traditional. How do you justify that? Uh, the way I do, it is… It is because of the medium or the message? It's the message and medium, uh, well, uh, although the lots of technique is old technique, but uh, the way the painting evolve, the evolving part of uh, artwork is a different. Mm -hmm. So, than like a traditional way you have you have been painter or a sculptor. Uh, you have a certain area to explore, but whereas I try to explore wherever I feel comfortable, uh, whatever elements um, talk about my voice, right. I gather them together and then try to expose my inner feelings. Well, uh, for the Bangladeshi community in, in UK and Europe, you are an icon of an artist. Uh, so, how would you like to address to uh, some of our viewers, probably some younger, younger viewers who would like to emulate, follow you and follow the way you have? I mean, I think it is important. That's your camera if you want, like to say it. It is very important that you continue your dream because I came from very rural village in Bangladesh where nobody ever dreamed to go abroad when I began my journey in England. So it's very important that you keep your dream and work for it. It is a hard sometime that you want to carry on things that are unable to do because so many difficulties. but. Uh, if you are strong enough, uh, I think now the situation is much better than when we were a child. Um, People are more accommodative. I think, and also we have more opportunity to see things um, now, even in Bangladesh. Uh, uh, Abu Jafar, uh, it was a pleasure talking to you, inviting you, and I'm honored that uh, you accepted my invitation and made time for NTV's uh, talking point. Thank you for having me. Not at all. You are an honored guest. Uh, and I hope to see you again sometime thank in you. future. Thank you. God bless you. Uh, thank you, viewers, for being with us. And I hope that you've enjoyed the show as much as we have. And uh, same time, same channel next week. We meet again with another very energetic and distinguished person. Until then, have a nice weekend. Take care of yourself.